Okay guys, I'm doing a bit of a how-to video today, which is something I don't normally do. And that's on these little aquarium style pumps. This pump is blocked up inside. And the reason it's blocked up inside is because this tank here is open and it gets green algae in it and the pump is sucking it up and it's gradually built up over time and it's got to be cleaned out because they become it gets to the point where you lose all your pressure now this one is quite easy to see because it's a colored pump but there is a break here but when they're all black it's harder to see but this piece here where the intake is that's your intake and if you can see that it's all blocked up full of green algae it comes apart right there and it's not easy to get apart but see when you get the knife in there it pops right out and if you see that how gross that is <laughs> look at that look at that there's a lot in there now that's not all your impeller is inside of here and these pumps these this size pump they're all made very similar but you know a little bit different see this turns if you see on the side here there's a locking piece it goes in and locks there we go now there's a, sh a shaft in here I haven't had a green one apart so I'm not sure there it is got a little bit of something spun around there Put that back in. You can see what's inside. There's your impeller. You can think how hard. This is a a magnetic motor, right? So it's held in there by magnet. Let's see that. There's your motor. This is your impeller. That's what turns the. That's what moves the water. That's all that does. The, does all the work. Look at that, huh? There we go, that's clean. Put it back in. Shaft goes right down the middle. Lock that in place. That's good enough. Clean out the screen. This is not the worst one I have to do today. <laughs> There's another one, this is the reason I'm doing it. Another one, this one was pumping just fine like that, believe it or not. There we go, back together. Back in the tank. It only takes a minute, and it don't have to be done very often, but it does need to be done sometimes. In here, let's see if we can see it. Done. Now let's take a look at the other one. You see this one barely dripping, huh? See this one's all black. That's why I did the green one first so you can see. You have to be careful. I don't want to come, come apart easier than normal. You just get in there and wiggle the knife and it'll come right out. There we go. Now, like I said, they're all basically the same, this style. But this one is a lot harder to see that that actually comes apart. But it does. This is a very old pump, unlike the other one. The other one was new, first time it's cleaned out. This pump has been cleaned out many times. It's a couple years old or more. It's got a lot of hours on her, this one. I think the biggest problem was 
all the stuff that's spun around the shaft. At least that's what I hope. Let's see what's in the <laughs> pretty nasty stuff. This is a much smaller pump. See how much smaller the, the pieces are. And there she is, back together. May as well put it together, right? Huh? That'll probably help. Get to see how to take it apart again. Okay, try again. Take two. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. There she goes. Pop it now. Well, there it is, guys. Like I say, it's not very hard to do once you know how to do it. It's quite easy. But if you've never done it before, you might not even know that it can come apart. All right, guys, well, that's it. Hopefully that helps somebody. And as always, thanks for watching.